Okay, so this video is going to look at how muscles work in antagonistic pairs to produce movement. So over the last couple of lessons we've looked at the major muscles within the human body. We're now going to look at how muscles work together in order to produce movement. Now first of all what we need to know is that muscles work in pairs. And the reason they work in pairs is because a muscle can only pull. It cannot push, so muscles work together in order to produce movement at a particular joint. Also remember that muscle is attached to bone by a tendon. Okay, so tendons play a key role in the movement as well. So before we look at the movement of antagonistic pairs, we'll just grab a little look at the groupings of muscles which work together. So if you just look at the screen in front of you, you can see the muscle groups of working muscles so the bicep works with the tricep the back works with the chest okay the abs work with the lower back shoulders work with chest and back okay and quadriceps work with hamstring and finally tibialis anterior works with the calf muscle or the gastrocnemius so i'm just going to highlight some key ones which um, on the spec we need to know so first of all the top one okay Definitely that one, and these bottom two here are really key ones. So the top one here would be a bicep curl, a chest pass, uh, a javelin throw. Okay, so anything where there's movement, okay, um, involving the arm where there's extension and flexion or, uh, of the hinge joint. And then the bottom one, obviously, quadricep and hamstring when you're sprinting. Okay, then tibialis, anterior and your calf muscle, often when going onto your tiptoes, for example, in a free throw shot, or when there's movement of a, of a sprinting. Okay, so we're now going to look as well at the next slide, and we're going to look at how actually muscles work together. Okay, so in front of you there, we've got a picture of a bicep and a tricep. So basically, what we're going to look at here is where there is extension, okay, which is the extending of the joint at the hinge joint here. Okay, so where there's extension of this bit here, this is caused by the contraction of the tricep, as you can see there. Okay, so the relaxing muscle is then the bicep. Now, what we need to remember here is that there's different names for these. So, in this instance on the left hand side here, where there's extension of the bicep, the muscle producing the movement is a contracted muscle, which is this one here. Now, this is always known as the agonist or the prime mover, often called either one of them. Both mean the same thing. So, you've got the agonist, which is the moving muscle, the muscle producing the movement, then you've got the antagonist which is the relaxing muscle. So in this situation here, the one on the left, the contracting muscle is a tricep, so that means that is the prime mover or the agonist. Okay, and that means that the relaxing muscle is the antagonist, which is the bicep at the top. Now remember as well about the pulling action. Okay, so that's caused there by the little white bits on the screen, which are tendons. And if we look at the top bit, which is the flexion of the movement, again, movement produced at the hinge joint. This is where the bicep is a contracting muscle, therefore that is the prime mover or the agonist. And the relaxing muscle is the tricep. Okay, and then what's happening here? Flexion is occurring because the angle at the hinge joint is decreasing. Okay, and so on the left is extension, and the one on the top, okay, on the right hand side is flexion. Okay, so again, just to summarize, if we look across, Okay, if we uh, a little bit the move the muscle, okay, which produces the movement is called the prime mover, okay, or the agonist, okay. The relaxing muscle is the antagonist, okay. So, like I say, muscles working in pairs, one contracts, one relax. Okay, and the muscles either getting longer or shorter. So obviously, if it's getting shorter, if it's shortening, it's contracting. If it's getting longer, it's obviously extending. Okay, so I hope you found this video really helpful.
Thank you.